In this video I show you 8 ingenious cleaning tricks with dishwasher tabs. We also start right off with number 1. Got a burnt pot or casserole dish? Instead of painstakingly scrubbing it, you can simply use a dishwasher tab to help. Put some water in the pot and a dishwashing tab, which we now add. This you should now boil together and then simmer for about a minute. Then you can take the pot off the stove. If you have a burnt casserole dish, you can put it in the oven until the mixture comes to a boil. If you then tip the water away, you can already see that the burnt spots have dissolved quite well. Now I could have let it soak a little longer and it probably would have all been completely gone. But as you can see, if I now use a normal pot sponge without really applying force, then everything also already really dissolves completely and I only have to rinse it out once at the end. Then dry it off again and the results can be seen in any case. It was much easier than scrubbing away the burnt spots. Cleaning trick number two is about bad smells. To do this, you fill a pot with water. I dumped just under two quarts in here now. And then I put half a dishwasher tap in with it. Then I just let it boil on the stove. That will bind any bad smells. So, if you've been cooking and the whole apartment stinks of food, you get those smells out of there pretty easily with this. Just let it simmer for about 10 minutes and the bad smells should be gone. Let's move on to cleaning trick number 3. There we have the trash can, because this is where pollution naturally accumulates. Even if you use a garbage bag, the bucket will also get dirty at some point and needs to be cleaned. A dishwasher tap is also really nice for this. All you have to do is put some warm water in it. I heated the water to 60 degrees celsius, which should do the trick. I now dump this into the trash can and also here I then put in half a dishwasher tap afterwards. Because this should be enough in any case. We leave this now for about 30 to 60 minutes. During this time the dishwasher tap can dissolve. This way larger dirt is cleaned. After the time you can tip the water away then wipe out the bucket again. It is best to use a glove and then wipe everywhere. Then rinse and wipe dry and the garbage can is clean again. Trick number 4 is about our drain. Food residues, grease or maybe even hair accumulate here too and we have to remove them. To do this we take 2 liters of water, tip this into a pot and then again add half a dishwasher tap. This should now dissolve. We leave the whole thing alone for a while and after about half an hour the dishwasher taps should have dissolved completely. Because this ensures that all these residues in our drain dissolve. So that this is then cleaned again really nice. You put this mixture then gradually and slowly into the drain until really the entire contents of the pot has landed in the drain. By the way, it doesn't matter if you do this in the kitchen or in your bathroom, it works equally well in both drains. Once you've dumped the entire mixture down the drain, it should be free of all residue. Let's move on to trick number 5. Here we treat our sink, because this is of course always dirty over time and should then be cleaned. And for this you can also use a dishwasher tap. All you have to do is fill your sink with hot water. To do this put the plug down and set the water to the highest temperature so it's really nice and hot. Now add half a dishwasher tap to the water. Now you let the basin then run completely full and then you should let the whole thing act afterwards a little bit. During this time the dishwasher tablets can dissolve and ensure that everything is cleaned properly. If, if there is really heavy soiling you can even leave it on overnight. Otherwise about 1 to 2 hours should be enough. After that you can take a sponge and wipe it all over again and always go into the dishwasher tabs water mixture so you can clean everything really nice. 
when you have wiped over everything, you can let the water out again and rinse everything off or wipe it with a cloth. And then you only have to wipe the sink dry and then it shines again in new splendor. As you can see here, the sink looks really clean again and all dirt is completely removed. Let's move on to trick number 6. Surely you use your washing machine regularly. But while the washing machine always cleans your laundry, the washing machine must also be cleaned in between once in a while so that no bacteria can spread here. And for this purpose, a dishwashing tap is also wonderfully suitable. You have to put it in your drum. For this you should not have any laundry with it. In addition, the wash cycle should be at least 60 degrees Celsius. Then you can start the program and let the washing machine run through. Meanwhile, the dishwasher tabs can't ensure that this is completely cleaned again and is also freed from lime. It's best to do it once every three months. Then you can use and enjoy your washing machine for a really long time. And then we come to trick number seven. For this we now clean our whole bathroom with a dishwashing tap. For this you take such a spray bottle, put some water in it, which should be at least 60 degrees hot and then add half a dishwasher tap. I have to make this a little smaller so that it fits into the spray bottle at all. After that it should dissolve completely. When it has completely dissolved, then you can clean your bathroom with it. Whether some stop on dirt or just light dirt that is super physical, as you see here, you get everything really completely clean with it. Especially the stainless steel surfaces such as faucets for example, in the shower you can clean with it practically well. Because here a rinse aid is also included which then ensures that you cannot easily deposit lime and this is also completely removed. Afterwards you won't have any more lime scale stains on the fittings as you can see. The result is really impressive. And then we come to the 8th and last trick. Here we clean once our toilet with a dishwashing tap. For this we put again about 60 degrees hot water into the toilet and here I now put two dishwasher taps with it. I now let these soak for 2 to 3 hours. For really stop on stains and lime and urine deposits you can also leave them overnight. The next day open the toilet and go through it again with the toilet brush. Wipe everything clean, then rinse again and the toilet is freed from lime scale and urine deposits and shines in new splendor. Those were all 8 cleaning tricks with dishwashing tabs. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. Feel free to write me in the comments if it worked for you too and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.